Hey you guys, if you're interested in this look right here, please subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel and continue to watch as I do a tutorial on how to achieve this awesome pink and white look. <laughs> See ya. To jump right in to this tutorial. Excuse me. And another thing. Sorry, if you hear anything in the background, it's fall break. My kids are home, so yeah, we're gonna see how this works. <laughs> now we're gonna see how this works. But anywho, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, I got a few new things, and I'm gonna use them today. So that's another reason why I want to do this tutorial because I'm like, okay, I got some things, and I want to show you guys exactly what I have. So yeah, anywho. So first things first, of course, is um, I had did my eyebrows already, so I wouldn't have to, to save less time, but I'm going to be using this face primer from Wet n Wild. Um, I just picked it up today, um, and I'm going to see what it's about. I'll try to uh, find something because I do have oily skin, so I try to find something that is, like I try to go based on my skin because it hear me because it's probably a little bit better now huh my mic was on the table but still okay oh it's like it's like this so we're going to not use so much I don't really know exactly what this is going to do but this is how it looks like and so I'm going to Mm -hmm. I love doing this like I love talking to you guys I love being able to eyeshadow primer um mm. oh wow this leaves your face whoa it leaves it like really 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 smooth should I say I like it yay um so anywho we're gonna go to our eyeshadow, pri eyeshadow primer which of course you know lately you guys I've been using hard candy glamouflage heavy duty concealer so I'm going to use that for my eyelid with a flat brush that I did my eyebrows with um so excuse the I just did my eyebrows with but it is my flat angle type of to use my favorite palette my blaze um I said blaze my beauty glaze <laughs> um eyeshadow it's beautiful as you can see some colors I haven't really used which today I probably use the valentine and then um use something else I picked up but anywho, we're going to use this first, and we're going to start with a, um, of course you guys know, oh, it's pink too. Well, it's like peach. This is not pink. It's more like peach. But anywho, um, I don't have, which is uh, crazy. I think I'm just going to start buying brushes with the names on them. That's just all, because I, every time I do my tutorials, but I just got a bunch of these and they're very soft they're very like they do well they get the job done so it's kind of like why buy you know brushes with the names on it i guess but um yeah i need to for you guys sake you know what i mean since i'm doing my thing i need to do it the right way but anywho I'm going to go in with, of course, um, the bronze, the bronze um, right here. I'm going to go with the bronze first on my outer right here. Go in with our second color um, with a with a smaller brush like this um, and we're going to use the color 350 I guess I don't know. it's a little softer color 
right here, okay, for our second color underneath. So I'm not going to do a cut crease and concealer and stuff like that. We're going to make this a soft look. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go in with the white on the outer and we're going to do the pink on the inner eyelid. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So we're going to use, we're going to put the Beauty Glazed Eyeshadow Palette up and we're going to next go in with um um a i got this from a lo my local drugstore here and it's we're gonna go with the white right here it's a color matte 12 long wearing fashion eyeshadow um from your local drugstore it's a smaller more angled type brush like this and it's angled as you can see and we're going to do this on the outer because we're going to try to keep the thing It's a little crazy. What you get, what you pay for, huh? Oh. And we're going to use the same brush and we're going to go in with another white. I got this today. It's CoverGirl. Um, yeah. Snow Blossom. This is what it's called. CoverGirl Snow Blossom. And we're going to go in with this. Mmm. And we're going to go with the same brush and we're just going to go on top of what we already did basically <laughs> oh, it's, it's a little bit it's, it's way more pigmented than um than the other one so just with something I just recently got. It's a metal glaze 12 hour intense liquid foil from Hard Candy. I love Hard Candy, you guys. You guys get me partnership with Hard. Like I need to have a with Hard Candy. But this is what it looks like. And you can do your lips, your eyelids, or your that's that's way different i've never actually did this before but um yes it's a metal glaze 12 hour and we're going to be using the color burgundy and so we're going to see let's i'm excited okay so i guess we just put it on top yeah like you would Using my fingers to kind of just, you know, oh, it's y'all. Yeah. Well, I know y'all probably can see it, but oh my goodness, it is freaking pretty. And then you can add, I guess. Oh man, it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit. Kind of just pat it on. And you can use it as a lip. Oh man, I might have to use this a little bit as a lip. Then we're gonna do, and then just to kind of, cause as you can see, it's a bunch of pink and like barely any white. We're going to go back in with our Cover Girl just to kind of have this white popping, but not like 
you know, all the way pop, like, just, you know, it's done. And then we're going to move on because I got a few more other little um, um, things I'm going to show you guys. Eyeliner. So, I'm going to do that, which for this, I need my tape because I do not know how to do it without a tape. But I'm like, man, should I try? This is a dual. Oh, okay. What is this? I just try it. Maybe. Okay, well, we're, you know what, you guys? We're going to wing it today. Well, because I'm just feeling the need. I'm a. Let me show you, like. This, I thought, was, like, to do the tip or whatever. But it's actually, like, a sponge type of thing I don't know and the tip is like this so like I said you guys we are going to wing this usually I have my tape to do it but we're just kind of gonna wing it and call it a day you know what I mean like oh my goodness and it broke it just broke Okay, well, I like that. I'm thinking maybe did the black throw it off? I was gonna do too much, and I felt like I wound up doing it a lot anyways, even though I said I wasn't. And of course, I'm going to go back in, I'm sorry, you guys, with a LA liquid eyeliner just to fill in and make it, like, dark, because right now it's not dark. And the brush is like so. So, I'm going in. This part with um, concealer, but yeah, this looks a little bigger. Let me see. And I made it like that too because. Um, okay. Okay. I like it. As you can see, I like it. Okay, and then next, we're going to now go in, let that dry, of course, and then we're going to go in with our under eye. That's what I was telling you right here. Age Rewind. This is a lengthy video. I'm going to chop it down, but it's a lengthy type video, I will say. But we're going to go in with this, just under our um, under eye. And the next thing I'm about to use, you guys, I'm excited for... Um, and after this dry, I am going to go in with a silver. I just want to put it like right here. That'll be last after I, that. And I'm going to do my um, eyeshadow base with white. Yay. I'm excited about this look, you guys. This is different for me. You know, my eyeliner did great. Um, like I'm happy about. Yeah, you know, everything's freaking rolling. 
But anyhow, so I'm going to put this just right here. I don't want last but not least, but what I'm finally happy to, you know, get to is I have new foundation and you guys know I've been using the same foundation for a long time. Even before I was doing YouTube, I just started, I was using this foundation for a very, very long time. I was, I was using this for a long time and which is great. It's wonderful and I love it, but, um, my face is a little bit darker than my body as you can see. Hello there. Um, as you can see, so this was more so the skin tone. It would darken my body skin tone up. Um, so I was like, well, let me, you know, try something a little bit different, you know. And so I picked up 24-hour combination oily Revlon Color Stay Mocha Boom foundation. And... I haven't never tried a new foundation. So we are going to try this out. You and me both, you know, you and me both. I'm excited and I got this out just in case I need to maybe mix it or something or put, yeah, so um, yeah, I'm excited, you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. It comes like in a little squirt. I'm gonna do like, oh, it's very oily. So I just did two. I just did two squirts because it is like very oily. Sorry. What does it mean when your nose keep itching? And I just got this. This is a uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge. It comes in a packet like this. I got this also from Walmart. And yeah, we're gonna put on our foundation with this first. It's dotted around, and then I'm gonna use this to like, you know, blend it out. Okay, it's very dark. put a little bit of uh, setting spray on there. Uh -huh, I'm gonna do it that way. Yeah, I don't think I'm just gonna maybe leave it like this. And yeah, I think I'm gonna just leave it like this because it looks actually like my skin tone. I mean, I probably darkened up a little bit, but I can probably, I can fix that most likely with, you know, the my concealers and stuff like that so i'm gonna leave it alone you know see if my husband because he'll tell me hey bye erica what is going on with you <laughs> what is going on with your face now we're going to move on with our concealer for under the eye and of course you know everybody's go to uh la pro concealer and i'm just gonna put it like right here 
we're not gonna inside of the sponge at all. Just in front. This is like kind of somewhat of a new routine too for me, you guys. Like, kind of to. Yeah. And I take the excess and just kind of my forehead just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, and then after that, we're going to take some. Uh, well, to take another clean one, I'm going to take my setting powder, which is um, by CoverGirl, of course. And I'm going to set my face. It comes like a powder. And since it's very, very, very light, and I'm already light. I'm just going to dip it lightly and we're going to use one dip for both sides, okay? Lightly. Like I want to contouring our face. So, of course, you know, right here. And, um, you know what? I'm thinking today I'm not. I'm just going to use um, a high definition that's a high definition pro concealer. Yeah, it is high definition in the color um, bronze, beautiful bronze. And I'm just going to use this instead. And for since it's dark, I'm just going to use that right here and right here. Oops. And then I'm going to take, I think it's a little probably too much, but. I'm going to take the LA Contour Stick LA Girls and I'm going to contour the rest of my face. This is light. So it brings life kind of back into the face. light to brighten a fluffy brush like so and I'm going to just basically blend all of that out move the hair out the way of course and just blend it out and now that I'm doing this I'm kind of realizing I am gonna to have to go into uh, let me do this uh, Yeah, I know you can see the difference on camera because it's like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Yes, you see this one. Hold on. But it's dark and yeah, it's, it's a little bit more like a... Not here, that's fine. And um, you guys actually will say I like the foundation. I will be using it again because it's actually my skin tone. Now, that I, like I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's actually for real my skin tone. And then you're just gonna take a fluffy brush like I just did and just wipe all that um, excess powder off of you my hands and kind of do my nose. Yeah, see, it's like, you can see my highlighted areas. It probably looked like whoa on camera, but I'm gonna show you a picture like I always do so you can see it. Cause I need to take my hair down and stuff like this. This video is very lengthy. I'm just looking at it like, whoa, I'm gonna have to chop it down a little bit. But anywho, after that, um, we're going to take our of mist and makeup set, which I need mist and I 
fan it and tap it. Fan it and tap. But not least with a my uh threes a charm duo contouring face uh trio should i say duo is two trio is three um but anywho luminizer blush and a bronzer this is the bronzer right here it's use this this is the blush and the luminizer on that side so we're gonna go with the bronzer it's a little light for my shade but we're gonna you know see what we're gonna do Yes, but not least, we're going to take our same brush we use to fluff this off to kind of add a little highlight. We're done with that and I finish up my eyes. Of course, you guys, you know, as when I'm doing my makeup, while I'm doing finishing my eyes, I'm going to be setting my lips with this Mary Kay, um, Mary Kay uh, Satin Lips. It's a lip mask. So before I put my lipstick on, I place it on my lips so I won't look like some type of crazy person. Mm -hmm. with stuff on her lips <laughs> like Erica what do you got on your lips girl no silver right here and I'm going to just kind of you know clean up well not clean up um do the inner tear duct of my eyes with a small little um brush like so, so mm. and this is kind of like a it's oily, but it's not. change it up a little bit yeah okay we're going to go in and go ahead and finish highlighting our brow bone and we're going to go in with some white and just Next, we're going to go in with two mascaras today. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a Mega Wear 
mascara the one that I always use but I also have another one it's from wet n wild it's very black it comes like where well, it came like this should I say and this so we're gonna use these two to finish our eye look and while I do that you guys I'm gonna take this off my lid and then once I'm done with my eyes I'm going to put my lipstick on finish my hair and then I will show you guys the finished look okay so, anywho, we're gonna so we got one eye. finished look as far as that um yeah I'm gonna go in finish up like my hair put on my lip and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished look yeah I put my old faithful in that's what I call her the short you know this is short all over um but um yeah I just it's like yeah I love it you know what I mean um I think the lighting is a little hmm, different. It can be different at times. <laughs> but overall, I love the look. Um, I use, I wound up using the eye, the eyeshadow, the um, liquid eyeshadow that I use on my eyelids. I wound up actually using it on my lips also. And it's matte, which I love. And it's really, really pretty it's really really pretty but um this is it um it kind of matches the whole thing okay you guys this is the finished look i am freaking loving it um yeah like this is the finished look.